many teams have won two Super Bowls in 25 years? <laughs> Not many. It's the Patriots win half. So, it's really paid you for 25 years. Yeah, that's true. You got to live. You got to live. If you ever want to play it to you. Yeah, I mean, the answer is hard to find. Very much. You guys have been talking so much about ramping up. Joe Boyle. <laughs> uh, I think uh, it starts at the point of attack, you know, uh, on the ball in our pick and roll defense. Uh, we can handle, you know, we I think over the years we've been good at handling the pick and roll with two guys. Um, you know, first couple games we've been handling it with three or four guys and still not handling it, you know, so. I think we were just better at the point of attack, and, and most importantly, I think we competed at a higher level tonight. You know, the first couple games, we we didn't compete, and, you know, we saw what the results of that were. So, um, we have to compete at this level every night if we want to give ourselves a chance to win. First play of the game, uh, you know, kind of first on that, like, fake dribble handoff to the rim. How designed was that? Did you feel like that was, like, right away kind of, oh, hey, we're here tonight? Uh, I mean... You know, it's I, it's an option play. I can either pitch it back to Steph. I can fake it and go to the hole. I can fake it and go DHO with D'Angelo out the corner. I was going regardless. And it's just about trying to set a tempo. I don't think, you know, the first two games, I didn't set a good tempo. You know, we got a lot of young guys. Like, you know, they, you got to give them, lead them away, and that can go either way. I think the first couple of games, I led them the wrong way, and you know, I got to be better. And tonight, I was better. What did Spellman give you guys coming off the bench tonight? A lot of energy. Uh, he made a lot of hustle plays, came up with some big rebounds, some big finishes. Uh, you know, a couple of those finishes when they was making a run, and he was breaking the run with a couple of tough finishes. But, you know, uh, He's in his second year in the league. You know, that's the energy we expect him to bring off the bench every night. And, you know, tonight was a good starting point for that. Ray mentioned to us that Warriors never lose in you for the double. They never have. Do um, you think there's something to that or is it just comes to that? Uh, I mean, I think we're, we're clicking, usually clicking on all cylinders when I, when I get to the doubles. Um, I'm not going to try to get a triple double every game. You know, if it happens, it happens tonight. It just happens. Uh, but you know, I just got to continue to play solid basketball. Um, continue to be aggressive. And continue to try to lead these young guys. You said uh, last night your team sucked. What do you think of What's your assessment of them right now? Uh, we're still not a very good team. Uh, we have a lot of room for them. Just because we won one game doesn't mean we don't suck right now. We still have a lot of improvement to do. Um, you know, when I said we sucked last night, I see a lot of people blew it out of proportion. A lot of former players who ain't never let shit blew it out of proportion. Um, we sucked. And we're still not very good. But you know, I've actually known how to lead my entire life. So you know, those that have never led shouldn't probably talk about leading. Um, but, you know, we just got to continue to get better. And we got to continue to compete at, compete at a high level. The first two nights we didn't do that. Tonight we did. And, but we still have a lot of room for improvement. You know, some people look at that as a negative. Uh, depends on how you want to look at it. It's a negative or a positive. Uh, but, you know, I know this team got a lot of improvement to do. And we plan on doing it. But right now, we're not a very good team. That's just the fact of the matter. We probably got seven guys under three years of experience. You know, so getting those guys experience under their belt and, you know, as the leaders of this team, we continue to try to bring it every night and get them something to follow and, you know, we'll, we'll win some night. Did the pace of play tonight feel familiar to you guys and have you been hungry for that familiarity of getting things going the way you know? Yeah, for sure, but it's a lot easier to play at that pace when you get stops. It's hard to play at that pace when you're taking the ball out the rim every time. Tonight we got stops. I think through the third quarter they may have had 79 points or something. So, you know, when you get stops, we can get it to that pace. And so, once again, it all starts on the defensive end. And, you know, if we can lock down on that side, um, you know, it, it'll get us to the pace that we like to play at. You had a triple double. Go ahead, Andrew. There's been some kind of things out there that maybe you guys, with, you know, your current personnel is going to change up the offense, do more in 
competitive high screens with Steph and D'Angelo. You guys have kind of more you know, kept who you are with more motion offense. What do you think about the back balance? I mean, I think, you know, with our personnel, there has to be some adjustments. You know, you just... And I think there were some adjustments made tonight, you know, but in saying that, you don't just change who you are. We've been pretty fucking successful. Um, running the offense we've ran, you don't just completely change up who you are. You have to adjust to different personnel, and I think we did a better job of that tonight, but we're not going to change who we are. So the news before the game, Michigan State retiring your jersey. What does that mean to you? Oh, it means a lot to me. Um, you know, Michigan State was a like to attend Michigan State and play basketball. It was a childhood dream of mine, and you know, to not only live out that dream but actually leave an imprint. You know, to where my jersey will hang with guys that I grew up watching and admiring, and saying, "Oh man, I want to play at that program because of the team." Please, you know, the Flintstones. Because of Jason Richardson, you know, to actually have my jersey hanging up with, you know, the all-time greats, uh, especially, you know, it's something that, you know, I go back, every time I go back, I look at those jerseys, so, you know, to know that mine will be up there uh, soon, is, you know, it's a dream. Shout out. Etoine Moore, respect. <laughs> you talk about the Spartans in Michigan, like, like, Absolutely. Uh, you know, I became a man at that school. Um, you know, and so much made so many friendships. Obviously, my relationship with Coach Izzo is one of my closest relationships in my life. You know, like one of the people I'm closest to in my life. Uh, well, like I said, just to be able to have my jersey retired there, I love that place. And just to leave an imprint like that is special. You talk to Coach Izzo today. We got to talk about the moment that's coming. No, we've been talking about it for. Um, I've known this for like six, maybe longer than six weeks now. Uh, but we were just planning it and trying to figure out the right date and then when to announce it. So I'm pretty good at keeping the secret. But. <laughs> Quite a while. I talked to him a couple of days ago. He was telling me it would go out today.